Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Right, um, last night I did a quick um, test of two cameras which I'm planning to take with me to Japan on our awesome uh, Japan vlogging tour coming up shortly. It's going to be an awesome um, uh, vlogging uh, travel video so if you're interested in Japan do click on the like and even the bell icon to get a notification about that it's coming up over the next few months it'll be about 28 episodes Japan's amazing I used to live there so I've got a lot to say about the place now anyway back to this re review and little test um, two cameras here Lumix G95 with the uh, Panasonic Leica 8 to 18 mil lens here which gives me an ultra wide angle and I've also got this little Canon PowerShot G7 um, X Mark III uh, which I'm going to take with me as well uh, but I just wanted to do a quick test last night while I was waiting for my children uh, for an hour uh, down in the local uh, shopping area uh, I just wanted to see how the, the vlogging compared on these two cameras in a, in a nighttime environment and it was really really useful so um, I'm going to show you some footage using both of these cameras just for a few minutes um, and you'll be able to see exactly when I'm doing footage on this versus this camera and a couple of still shots of both also. Um, I've used, I used both of the cameras using my um, a, a monopod here which I use as my, um, actually as a selfie stick because I like to be able to um, hold that camera out quite far if I want to. Um, so. I use the same setup for both cameras and I also used the um, external microphones, the Deity setup here uh, for most of that footage except for one where I wanted to test the microphone on the G7 X Mark III camera here. So do check out the uh, footage here, just point, one point to bear in mind here, I've just had both of the cameras pretty much set on the AE program modes for exposures and everything standard because um, it was just a run and gun video, I wanted to see how these cameras would perform on a quick, just turn it on and do some quick vlogging without having to be clever with trying to get all your settings um, perfect. Uh, and I also am going into some very dark areas here, so you'll see my face does get quite dark in a few shots, but I wasn't going for cinematic perfection here, I just wanted to test how these two cameras and lenses would perform in those dark environments for some of my future videos. So check out this footage and see what you think. It's actually stunning weather tonight, this is actually, um, what are we, the middle of May, uh, so we're two months really from the, the coldest month here uh, <laughs> in Auckland, New Zealand, and um, I'm just wearing a t-shirt, so um, I mean it's probably, it's probably about, um, I don't know, it's probably about 15 or 16 degrees out here right now in the evening, which is actually really, really nice for this time of the year. It's uh, bloody fantastic, if it was only like this every night of the year. Um, this place would be a lot more wonderful. So anyway, we're actually, I'm just walking up alongside the uh, Takapuna Beach area here. Um, still very dark here, but um, yeah, we have got a bit of street lighting here and I'm actually going to turn around here and we've got this, here we can see the restaurant area behind us. There's um, sort of quite a row of, of new restaurants here that have been built. Uh, in an area behind the main Takapuna shopping area here. So here we go in the, I guess, evening light conditions here. Um, I can see fairly, fairly dark on my face area here, but certainly in terms of background, if I actually spin around here, um, straight across the road here, is actually the main Takapuna beach area here. So I'm going to switch to the other camera here in a second, which is my Canon G7X camera, which is unlike this um, Micro Four Thirds Panasonic camera, is a much smaller compact camera, and it is well just really really good for um, travel. So it's a, a non-interchangeable lens um, camera, but it does have a a really really good super fast lens, which is actually a a 1.8 maximum aperture lens uh, which is actually better than this um, rather large uh, Micro Four Thirds uh, camera lens that we are using right now. I mean this this lens here, this 2.8 uh, Lumix lens, uh, sorry this 8 to 18 millimeter um, Micro Four Thirds um, Panasonic lens here which is a Leica uh, lens uh, it only goes down to an aperture of 2.8, which is still really, really good. 
uh, the reason I got it but the smaller Canon camera which I'll roll with in just a minute actually has as I say a 1.8 aperture lens now I've actually done a little bit of um, videography with that smaller camera and I must say it's a really really nice camera um, particularly because of its really really small size um, so the only uh, disadvantage with that smaller Canon camera we'll use in the moment is that um, we can only go down to a effectively what is a um, 24 millimeter uh, wide angle view and 35 millimeter equivalent terms whereas the lens one I'm looking at right now go, is, is going down to effectively a 16 millimeter which is a pretty wide angle um, and really really good for this vlogging. I am using a vlogging pole here it's actually a, a monopod which is what I use for the vlogging here uh, which actually gives me about one meter of length from uh, the camera in front of me here to well to my waist actually where the pole I is usually resting so um, let's flip the other camera um, on in a second and we'll see how that looks actually before I go ahead here and try the Canon camera set up here I'm just going to do a bit more of a, a closer walk by um, past I guess some venues here with a bit more outdoor lighting uh, this is actually as you can see from the signage here is Main Beach Takapuna and it is this is Regatta uh, Bar and Brasserie quite a nice place um, yeah but certainly with this 2.8 lens um, I think our nighttime performance uh, that we're getting out of this is actually um, it's actually not too bad and I reckon it's going to be really good on the streets of uh, in Japan you know particularly when we're doing those nights night walks around Tokyo Osaka and all that sort of thing so uh, anyway let's try out the other cannon now and see how that looks okay Shazam all right here we are with the Canon uh, G7X camera and straight away what I'm noticing here is this lens is really fantastic in low light here with this 1.8 aperture so we're now uh, recording at uh, the maximum which is effectively a 24 millimeter um, a 24 millimeter view here in 35 millimeter camera terms um, and you'll see yeah just just doing a quick run here showing the restaurant area here behind us you can see that this uh, lens is just bloody fantastic yeah I mean you can even uh, my, my face is a little bit shadowed here with the light behind but you can even see a lot more on my face than when I was using my uh, poor old uh, M43 camera just a moment ago so um, yeah I'm, I'm just mega impressed with this camera straight away um, and particularly this lens um, now people have talked about this um, having a bit of an autofocus issue which it looks like it just did there for a moment as well with my face um, but now that I'm sort of walking again in uh, a more well lit area here um, it seems to be seems to be keeping track of my face quite well um, but yeah the brightness that we're getting out of this lens is just it's just stunning actually um, for this in incredibly small camera um, this is amazing and um, of course it's I've got it now on the on my um, monopod which I'm using as my selfie pole for these recordings the same as what I just used for my G95 camera um, but because this camera of course is so small and so light um, it's really making this a real breeze to use I'll just cross over the here on the other side of the road um, and you can see just this with this even just the street lighting here alone um, this is just producing a much much I can see on the screen here I mean I'll get a better look when I'm back uh, on the computer here to look at this image full screen but I just looks like here I'm getting just a way way better uh, nighttime vlogging result video um, recording uh, vlogging result out of this um, camera lens combo then and, and one of my, my big um, Panasonic uh, micro four-thirds camera with our big hefty 
8 to 18 millimeter lens. Um, so again, I mean that um, 8 to 18 mil lens on the Panasonic camera is, is a fantastic lens, but just when you get down to this level of low light, um, yeah, you just you just have to get some. You just you just need a lens which has that really really um, much lower ap aperture. And you, I'm just noticing here that the camera really did lose focus on my face there for a minute. Um, obviously, it's in that really dark area there, which I've just walked into, that the um, focus starts to have uh, have real trouble. But of course, I mean that was really really dark there. Um, certainly where I'm testing right now is actually a really really good test for this camera and lens because um, it's not going to be it's actually uh, when I'm doing travel vlogs or something like that especially the big trip that we're going to do in Japan in a few weeks um, I'm not going to be um, in an area that dark generally well I don't think I will be uh, unless I get lost down the wrong alleyway um, this camera versus the um, Mark Four Thirds Lumix is that the image stabilization in this camera here seems to be really really good um, I would say I'm getting less shake and yeah just a much smoother walk and talk result out of this camera than my my Lumix camera how sad um, <laughs> I, I really love that Lumix camera but um, this camera um, in some areas here it's actually really I think giving me a better result and it's a much smaller easier camera to carry around um, for travel uh, honestly I'm loving this camera um, I, I had been really debating for our whole um, big long trip to Japan that we're going to be up putting up on um, YouTube here of course shortly as well um, I really was trying to come up with a single camera setup um, and even just single camera single lens setup to take on that journey um, but I think realistically I'm going to I'm going to take this camera and that other larger uh, Lumix camera just thought I'd video that really tall building up behind us so this is in the middle of Takapuna here um, I'll just take a, a bit of a shot up here up to the main intersection uh, of the road here with the traffic lights um, so you can get a bit more of a idea again of nighttime video 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 now just one comment while I'm doing this video test here on this camera and on the Lumix G95 camera I'm actually I am using an external microphone for this entire shoot it's the uh, little de deity pocket mic uh, great little setup um, just to give us that nicer quality video um, yeah because I just wanted to focus on um, you know with sound working pretty well what sort of uh, I really wanted to focus on this test with the video quality between the two cameras and the two different lenses uh, and I think this has been a really good worthwhile test tonight um, so I think I'll in a moment I will switch back to uh, I'll switch back to at this intersection the um, Lumix G95 camera with again the A218 mil lens and so we can just have a look at how that's performing in this area here with a bit more light okay I thought I'd do just another really short quick clip with the G7X here um, handheld uh, using the uh, camera's own microphone here just to get a quick comparison of how that mic compares to what I was doing with the wireless mic and the deity what mic earlier for all the rest of the test yeah just wanted to see what this mic sounds like in comparison um, so that was it for that just a quick sound clip and then i'm going to take a couple of photos with this g7x of these lights behind us and that'll be the test Okay, here we are back again with the Lumix G95 camera and the 8 to 18 mm lens. Um, yeah, so it's really going to be an interesting comparison for me to go back and look on the big screen at this video versus what we just come off on the G7X Canon camera. Um, again, this uh, 8 to 18 mm lens 
is only a is a 2.8 aperture lens as opposed to the 1.8 on the Canon so theoretically um, it, sh it should be yeah it should be not quite as good a performer here in in the dark but um, I have noticed here that actually um, in the main intersection here at least uh, with these shops etc um, this lens is actually still not too bad it's not too bad um, a little bit of a walkie down here actually a bit further with this this lens and camera um, <laughs> it does now now that I've got the uh, this bigger camera and lens on the on the pole here it certainly does feel a lot more chunky to be carrying around after using that nice little Canon G7X camera um, but you know swings and roundabouts um, still this is a beautiful camera as well um, and you know when I get back home t tonight or tomorrow and have a closer look at this footage um, obviously I can have a think more again about uh, when we are in Japan and doing the vlogging over there um, you know which of these cameras is going to be most suitable for the various um, videography that we want to do over there um, for the travel vlogging and also for stills as well uh, you know I do want to be doing a lot of stills photography um, on that trip to combine in the video footage for our final cuts which will be our in our sort of 28 episode um, trip to Japan videos on YouTube so do stick around and watch that and that's all going to be done with it almost certainly be both of these cameras so um, do check that out um, but yeah this is you know I'm seeing right now I'm, I have to keep things simple I have put both of these cameras on you know the full um, program mode auto exposure just to let the camera make the decisions here on both cameras just for the purposes of this uh, test video comparison um, but again there we have it um, I quite like the footage that I'm looking at right now um, there is light here on my face as well of course which will probably be the case a lot when we're in the big cities doing vlogging so so again this this lens camera combo I think as a single setup for vlogging and photography for travel will be really great but that Canon G7X um, that we've got on the rest of that footage there um, does obviously have that major advantage of being a super small camera to carry and and it does have that really really good um, uh, ultra low light performance you know I think what I'll be doing is probably maybe even carrying both cameras with me most of the time but when I want to go out for a little night walk or I don't want to carry much I might just whip out with that small camera and the pole uh, out with the family when we do a few walks out at night um, because it's going to be the better performer in the dark and then we can use leave this big camera back in the hotel rooms so we don't have to be carrying it around all of the time so it's a bit of nice um, I haven't actually seen this finished in here this seems to be done quite recently in the last few weeks um, some new uh, landscaping and, and lighting in this area here which is good for my video test right now so there we have it um, at the end of the video I'll also just show you a, a video clip of physically what all this hardware is uh, so you can see what I've just been using check it out So there you have it guys, there's a quick uh, test of these two cameras side by side uh, to give you a really good idea of how each one performs. In terms of conclusions, um, if, I was to, if I was to say I could only take one camera, if I had to choose one camera here to go away to take on holiday with me to do really decent vlogging to even make YouTube videos, I would probably take this G7X Mark III camera. Um, the only downside for this, to be honest, for me would be not being able to get that ultra wide angle that I can get on this Panasonic 8 to 18 millimeter lens, which gives me that effectively 
a, a 16 millimeter super wide angle at the old 35 millimeter equivalent uh, whereas this really only goes down to 24. Um, but other than that you know ultra wide option this camera is absolutely fantastic um, as I think you'll see in some of that footage um, the low light performance of this camera is absolutely fantastic I think it definitely beats this uh, G95 with the 2.8 aperture lens here because this is a 1.8 aperture uh, lens keep that in mind um, uh, also uh, in terms of the image stabilization I to be honest I have to say that I think this G7 um, X Mark III has better overall stabilization feel to it than what I'm getting out of the uh, G95 here. Um, the Lumix G95 is using in-body stabilization only. This lens does not have stabilization. So it's in-body and electronic. And this is just using, uh, of course, in-body and electronic, I guess, as well. Uh, but the stabilization I'm finding on this is just really, really good for vlogging. So in that respect, as we are awesome camera. Um, you know, having said that, uh, in my case, I'm going to take both of these cameras with me on our vlogging tour of Japan. Um, I think daytimes, I think I'll end up using these cameras 50-50 daytimes and when I wanted to get those better wider angle uh, shots, um, I'll just use this camera. Um, really, really nice for wide angle and unless I'm going to get into low light um, performance, no problem. Um, but obviously the downside is, you know, it's obviously quite a bit physically bit bigger to carry around uh, and handle and put on the pole, uh, which of course I'm doing on our, a, um, I'm using a monopod as my vlogging pole here. Um, so in, like just to consider, of course, weight wise, this camera with this particular lens is um, 943 grams as opposed to this little setup here is only 390 grams. So, you know, this is not horrendously heavy, but still a lot more weight than that. And it is noticeable. It's not massive, but it's noticeable. Um, so, yeah, overall, um, I really love both of these cameras. I'm going to use them both extensively for our next uh, vlogging video tour. Um, and I, I highly recommend both of these cameras for their two slightly different um, advantages. Um, one thing I would say in terms of autofocus, a lot of people comment on the G7X having autofocus problems and not being that great. Personally, I didn't really think that was that bad. Um, obviously, it lost focus when it was really, really dark there. Um, but, I mean, that's just going to happen. Um, I'm, when I'm doing real-world vlogging and video, I'm going to avoid getting into such dark areas. Um, or I might even have an LED light on my face area uh, in that sort of scenario. So as long as you're aware of that, um, I don't think it's a problem. And to be honest, I really don't think that the autofocus was that much worse on this camera than on uh, my Lumix G95 with this lens here. Um, so don't avoid using this camera uh, because of that, what you might read about autofocus. Um, it's fine. It's just overall, it's a stunning little camera. So anyway, I hope you find you know this information useful and some of that demo footage useful. Uh, do click the uh, like and subscribe buttons if you want to come back and look at this video and some of my other videos. And also definitely for our uh, Japan tour coming up shortly, that's going to be a, about 28 episodes at least. Fantastic country. I used to live there. So much I can say about that place. So anyway, thanks guys for watching and we'll see you again.